Hello YouTube. Another day, another laptop video. Uh, funny story behind this one here. Uh, I got this for free from work. This was on our uh, scrap pile basically. Uh, a customer brought this one in and he said that he didn't have any use for it anymore. Uh, presumably belonged to probably his parents or something that probably passed away or something along those lines. Uh, and they said, well, well, this is a laptop they've had for about five years and I don't know what to do with it. You can have it. So this was, this was in a scrap pile, so my colleague asked me, like, well, do you want to keep it or should we, should we just throw it out? And I was like, well, let me just take a look at it real quick. And uh, it turned out to be this uh, Asus X75 VC. And it's uh, a pretty good laptop. In fact, it was barely ever used, from what I can tell. The original hard drive that came in it, I have it somewhere here. That was a, uh, this little sucker here, a 500 gig HGST hard drive. So it's a SATA 3 gig drive, so it's slightly older. So this is from the 11th of April 2013. So this is a laptop that's not even five years old. Well, next time I'm making this, it will be five years old, just. So this is an Ivy Bridge based uh, Core i5 machine. Uh, it's still in great condition. Like I said, it hasn't been used much. And it shows there's really not really that much in terms of scratching on a laptop. Not that uh, not any that I didn't put on. Let's put it that way. And uh, yeah, 17 inches in size. So yeah, it has a Core i5. Uh, I think it's a uh, 3360M, something along those lines. 2.6 gigahertz dual core with hyper threading. It uh, came with six gigs of RAM. Upgraded to eight because I downgraded my latitude. Uh, 6320 to uh, 4 gigs and I put in the SSD that was in the uh, latitude before so this now has a 240 gig SSD it also has GeForce 720M graphics which isn't that high end at all but uh, it's pretty good so in terms of uh, ports around the laptop we have a 3.5 millimeter jack here that is a combo jack a USB 3.0 port, two USB 2.0 ports, HDMI, VGA, Ethernet, which is gigabit, very nice, big venting area, the power plug, on the back is just a battery, and on this side we only find a DVD burner, and that's about all there is to it. On the bottom we have a uh, Windows 8 sticker, because this came with Windows 8 Home, or as it was known back then, Windows 8. That's what is the entire name. And uh, I've actually uh, downgraded it to Windows 7. It's not officially supported by Asus, but if you go one model down from this, or up, depends on how you see it, this is the X75 VC, but there's also the X75 VD. And that came out just before, apparently, before Windows 8 released, because that one was shipped with Windows 7, Windows 7 Home Premium, in fact. But uh, this one is running Windows 7 Professional. So we all got the original stickers here. Here is the original specification sticker, which boasts about USB 3.0 and how it's 10 times faster than USB 2. Well, it is, but uh, you know. Uh, Core i5 here, the 720M sticker. The trackpad on this, I'm not a huge fan of. It is support supposedly a multi touch gesture jack. Multi touch gesture trackpad. That's a difficult word. Uh, that works okay ish in Windows 8. In Windows 7, it's completely useless, so. Windows 7 doesn't do gestures, aside from maybe this gesture. Oh, I just demonetized myself. Shit. Anyways, the keyboard on this is pretty good. It's about average. It has a bit of a mushy feel, but uh, at least it has some uh, feel to it. Keystrokes are a little bit on the heavy side. But uh, I don't mind that too much. I actually prefer that over the very light, uh, mushy feel of uh, some keyboards on laptops these days. We do have a numpad, which was almost a novelty <laughs> a few years ago. But uh, it is very useful. I use that quite a lot for doing some... Uh, especially when I'm using this laptop to do some management on servers or what, whatnot here in the home. I just use that for typing in IP addresses. It's just a lot more convenient than having to move back and forth on the uh, top row there with the numbers. So already, let's also just uh, 
or turn it on. There you can see my beautiful face. Or the contrary. Biggest downside is that it's a glossy display and I really hate glossy displays. For the life of me, I don't know why people prefer these. There we go. Let's log in. And there we are. There's not a lot on it. It's still pretty bare bones installed of Windows 7 with all the updates. Let's turn Arrow back on. There we go. It's just your run of the mill 1600 by 900 display. Of course, it is TN, so view angles are atrocious. But still better than uh, some laptop screens that I've seen. <coughs> MacBook Air! Did I say that? But uh, it's true. So, right now, I basically only have, I think I do have Microsoft Office 2016, yeah. It's always a good start of video to go with Word. Yeah. The word is on the street, because that's something I excel at. And I'm just saying that to make a PowerPoint. And not to access other stuff. I guess I wanted to be a publisher. Enough of the office puns, right? Very cheesy indeed. It is a very snappy system with this SSD. Of course it does have SATA 6 gigabit per second support. It's just a run-of-the-mill uh, Kingston UV400 SSD, so nothing special there. We get a whopping 4.4 in the most important benchmark of them all, the Windows Experience Index. We get a 7.1 for the CPU though, 7.4 for memory because we have 8 gigs. It only cares about the amount, not so much about the actual speed. 7.9 on the SSD, 7 point, or 6.5 on the gaming graphics, and 4.4 on Arrow, which is mostly handled by the Intel HD 4000 that is also present. And we have the glorious invention called Optimus to switch between the GPUs. It's a train wreck, but it sort of works. So I also have Steam on here so I can play some games. I don't really have any uh, reason to do that on video right now, but uh, it's there. And uh, I've dealt with a little bit of emulation on the Nintendo 64 on here, and that uh, worked pretty well. Battery is still good. The battery on this thing lasts. Uh, well, it says right here about 4 hours and 15 minutes. Uh, if you put it on energy saving mode and uh, dim the screen to half brightness, you'll get about 3 to 5 hours. So, average about 4 hours. So that's pretty accurate as well. And just your everyday tasks are very snappy thanks to the SSD. The Core i5 in here is definitely not a uh, bottlenecking factor at all. It is quite zippy. The system stays very quiet in operation too, especially when just doing web browsing or watching some YouTube videos or whatnot. It stays very quiet indeed. In fact, if you turn on energy saving mode, it will throttle the CPU permanently and it won't even uh, spool up the fan a little bit. Of course, the system is a bit slower then, but uh, it, it'll uh, almost cool itself passively and that's pretty neat. So, well, that's pretty much all I have to say about the Asus or Asus, whatever you want to call it, X75 VC that I got for free from work and uh, yeah I've used it for a couple days now I've had it for a bit longer but I've used it for a, a good time just to get a feel for it and it's definitely a very nice laptop to have whether this thing will stay with me long term I don't know yet it might be but uh, I'm not quite sure about that yet if something uh, something more important comes up on the horizon uh, money-wise uh, there is a chance I will flip this thing anyway but uh, for the time being I'm definitely enjoying this uh, this laptop here having a big 17 inch laptop is something that I've uh, kinda missed I guess because having large display laptops is, is just it's just fun especially when you're actually using it on your lap you have such a nice amount of screen in front of you and you can get a lot of stuff done if only this thing had a 1080p panel, that would just be absolutely perfect for me. But for that, I'd have to switch to the N series. Oh well. I hope you enjoyed this video. I thank you all for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one.